Hey everyone, it's your boy Tal. How you going? <laughs> oh, that was, that was really creepy. Okay, um, that intro will make sense later. I try to make it like a, an old school Mickey Mouse. But yeah, that's definitely be the worst intro, but uh, let's keep it and keep on rolling. Alright, anyways, so here in this video I tried to create an animation. I used a 2B mechanical pencil and an eraser. And in total it took about an hour and a half drawing and about another hour editing it. I actually drew this out twice and I've included the first attempt in the video which is in the end and it takes up the other half of the video. Why I did that? Uh, simply put, I didn't really like how the first one came out and I felt like I got really lazy with it. After reviewing the footage I asked myself if I was really okay with it and a piece of advice which I once received from Graham, he's a friend of mine in many ways a teacher, he said to me once, uh, when you finish a piece of work, ask yourself, would you buy this? And when I asked myself that, I guess I answered, no, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Don't know if anyone would, so I redid the whole thing. And though I didn't find it perfect, I really did end up liking the second attempt, and I'm glad I did it. The idea was just to create a wolf and make it jump, leaving behind a trail of ink, which it merges with, and since Google has everything, I must be super terrible at using it, because I thought I could find a simple video of a dog showing me, well, or a wolf, showing me the flip to use as a reference, so since I couldn't find that, I had to make it all up. Right, and I wanted to create an animation which also gave off this old school 1930s Disney vibes, with the whole black and white grain filter and lighting. Um, oh, that actually, did you check out the mad editing uh, with the text as well? I'm actually super proud of my editing in this video because I learned some new tricks with HitFilm Express. That's the editing software that I use to create these videos. And I swear I felt like Neo waking up to Morpheus just saying, I know HitFilm Express. That, okay, accents might not be my thing, you know, <laughs> but I'll work on those. And like anything, if you work hard at it, then you're bound to be kind of get good at it. <laughs> that sounded so dumb, but I'll keep that in there because it sounded funny to me. It reminded me of that video of that kid that have you ever had a dream that you that it could that you could do anything? <laughs> oh, bless that kid. While he was making the speech of his life, I was probably just out there eating dirt or something. Now, back to the drawing. Was drawing it fun? Heck no. I had to draw parts of it over and over again and um, there was lots of times where I was just like stopping the recording and thinking if there was another way to do this, which there were plenty of ideas came to mind but I really just want to see it through and yeah, I'm glad that I did. So without further ado, here is the final version of the second attempt. Hope you like it. Awesome, hope you enjoyed that one. Now this one is the second one. Well, I mean it was the first attempt, but since it wasn't chosen, I made it the second one. Okay, now the biggest tip that I could give you, well, what I learned through this process was not getting caught up on the idea of making every frame perfect. And what I did was I focused more on capturing the motion rather than capturing every detail of the wolf itself. And I felt like that really helped. If you do want to go over and try to make everything detailed and capture the motion, I'm pretty sure you'll get something that looks absolutely amazing. You just have to spend a bit more time on it. Um, this whole idea of perfection, I guess, um, it's more of just like an ideal to strive towards. It can be like a real motivator and I mean, a long time ago I came to realize that it's kind of like an unreachable destination, which pretty much just causes you to take a series of <laughs> journeys. I've never had the most confidence in my art. I would always just compare myself to everyone around me that I thought was better than myself and instead of using that to motivate me I just completely stopped trying to draw or paint or anything and I built up this idea or more of this phrase such as yeah I can do that if I tried and I found some kind of comfort in that like it was a sort of safe zone of mind that made me feel that I didn't have to waste energy on something that I believed I could already do. Um, in that regard I guess Comfort can be a very scary thing because um, for the better part of eight years I completely stopped drawing and I used to kick myself for that and until I came across this old Chinese proverb it goes along the lines of something like this like um, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago and the second best time is now yep um, and I found it to be very true I mean the past is something in life that we can't change unless you believe in time travel then awesome <laughs> 
um, but for now, yeah, we can't. So all we can really do is learn from it and allow it to make us the best versions of our current selves. So yeah, I mean, um, don't worry about the past, don't get caught up on it and stuck in regret because I mean, life's just kind of short when you look at the grand scheme of things, but then it's also long if you compare it to life of a man. But anyways, yeah, that's all a matter of perspective. Um, you know what they say, the wrench doesn't fall too far from the dragon's belly. Right, anyways, again we got sidetracked, but what I'm trying to say there is don't worry about trying to make everything so perfect. Just go with the flow and have fun, and to me that's the most important thing. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you did like what you see and do want to see more, then please consider subscribing as it does really help me grow the channel. Um, other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and have fun drawing. See ya.